So Craig has asked for a bit of help with his backhand topspin. Uh, you can see the video that he sent in playing in the background. So what we're going to do today is just have a look at what he's currently doing uh, and basically just do a bit of a technique critique uh, of, of Craig's backhand topspin. Hopefully that will help Craig and it will help all of you guys with your backhand topspin technique as well. So first thing that I want to say is if you look at um, Craig's shoulders, uh, they seem kind of quite hunched up. Um, like he's kind of shrugging them a bit. He looks a bit tense in his neck and trap muscles. So the first thing that I'd want to say is try and relax all of your shoulders and your neck muscles. Um, let your arms hang down loose a little bit more. That's going to help you just play a much more relaxed and fluid shot instead of being so stiff. I think that stiffness is also kind of um, causing Craig's right elbow, his playing elbow, to kind of stick out quite a lot. And if he was to just relax a bit more, let his arms hang and his shoulders drop, I think that elbow would just naturally come in and he'd find himself in a much better um, in a much better position for playing the shot. So that'd be my first tip. Relax the upper body, relax the shoulders, nice and loose, shake it out, let everything hang. And then I think immediately that will, that will have some sort of um, improvement in, in the technique of the shot. Another big thing for adults learning to play table tennis is you just need to get lower. You need to get a lot lower down. If you were, you know, a, an eight-year-old kid learning to play, then you'd be able to kind of have straight legs and just stand upright and, and you'd still be at a decent height. But as an adult, if you do that, you're just your head's way too high relative to the table and the height of the ball. Your, your playing elbow is going to be too high, so it just makes the mechanics of the shot weird. So Craig really needs to have a wider stance, bend his knees, lean forward, weight on his toes, all of those kind of things that's going to bring all of his upper body down kind of half a foot to even a foot lower. And that's just going to mean that he's in a much better position for playing the shot. So relax those shoulders, nice wide stance to get yourself lower. And then when it comes to actually looking at the shot, I mean, Craig's doing a few different things throughout this video. His technique isn't always the same, but one common thing that I see him doing is opening the bat angle during the stroke. So it'll start closed. And then as he plays the shot, by the end of the shot, after his follow through, the bat angle is actually open. So it starts facing down towards the table and it ends almost kind of facing up towards the ceiling or facing off towards that side wall. And that's really not ideal. Um, you want to try and play with a closed bat angle throughout the stroke. So let's say your, your bat is, is closed over the top of the ball at like a 45 degree angle. You want to keep that 45 degree angle throughout the whole stroke. So it starts at a 45 degree angle. That was a good one there actually. And it finishes at a 45 degree angle. And you need to be turning your hand over. I mean, it's a little bit like throwing a frisbee. You kind of pull it back and then you flick it through. So by the end of the shot, that little flat bit at the bottom of your handle on your, on your bat or your racket should actually be facing you. It should be pointing back towards you because you've gone the whole way through. And there are a couple of times in this video where Craig does a good one. We actually goes through over there. There's a few where he's kind of not following through at all. And then there's quite a few where he's being quite shoulder dominant and just kind of using his shoulder to lift his whole arm up. And, and that's causing that bat angle to open up. If you're playing backhands and you're shoulder dominant, it's pretty hard to, to play a decent stroke. You're going to end up just lifting everything up all the time. You're going to be hitting balls off the end. Um, so you've got to try and focus more playing with your hand, with your fingers, with your wrist. Let those lead the stroke. That was a brilliant one. So th I think there's maybe one shot in this video or two where Craig does it perfectly. Um, and it's just a case of understanding what, that, what you did on that one and how that one felt and then replicating that over and over. Um, one thing that can be helpful um, that I used to do with some of my players is just to get them to um, drop, drop the ball in front of their bat and then practice kind of playing with just their wrist and their hand. So you haven't got to worry about everything else that's going on. You just do a little, a little drop of a few inches above the height of the table. Use your hand and your wrist to roll over the top of the ball. And you've got to do that right, otherwise you end up just putting it in the net. So maybe that's something that Craig can practice. But yeah, three tips there. Relax the upper body, the shoulders, let those hang down. That's going to bring the elbow in. That's going to get his upper body in a slightly better position. Wider stance to get himself lower. That's so key for all adults learning to play table tennis. And then um, focus on playing. That's the one. That's the good shot. Focus on playing the, um, the backhand top spin with the hand. Like a frisbee, rolling over the top of the shot. Um, that's what you want to be doing. So... 
don't lift it up to the ceiling being shoulder led. Don't do kind of like a little punchy nothing you shot with you've got a few of those in there. You need to roll it over with that frisbee motion nice and loose. Um, and that's the way to play a good backhand topspin. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, we'll just finish out this um, this thing and wait for Craig's good one again. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, hit that subscribe button underneath. Uh, and yeah, if you've got if you've got a video of yourself playing or you just want to film one and get a get a critique, then just film a little clip of yourself doing a shot or doing a drill, send it in. And um, yeah, we'll try our best to give you a critique. Here's the good one coming up. I, can, I know it's coming at this point. Wait for it. Where's the good one? There it is. That's the one, Craig. Okay, so that's what we want to see. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next video.